not there to try it. God, it's a squirrel. My goodness, what a strapping position. It's a squirrel of an eye patch. Astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. It's a Nick Fury squirrel. not incinerate. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well, that many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so conversation was different, to say the least. Looks fine. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. No, he still loves his wife. Hey, you're standing. You're so sauce. Last time, there was all this high stuff up here. So many dark elves. I. All this time, I thought the dark elf came. I thought all the dark elves were. Dear. Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I. What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. That's a lot similar to kind of um, what they say was... It was from the Crown. They said that they won't... Uh, the Queen won't pick a side. It's the best thing that they can do is to not pick a side for anything, for any kind of right or left or whatever they must be objective because it's their one thing they can be without discrimination so by them not picking a side it puts them above any judgment so that yeah that's what i got from the crown anyway but it's an interesting kind of a point of it because do you do you pick one side and believe that that's right or do you change yourself and go for the other? Or do you just not choose a side? Do you not choose to help out? But then again, you realise that both sides then become at fault for stuff. Both sides push each other to the extreme. So yeah, there really is no real side to a war other than what is just. Especially to one like this where it's like, it's the moral question. A lot of times if there's a war, 
especially nowadays, it's people taking land from others and all the sort. But when it's a moral dilemma like this, whether you choose to use a gift like this for your own betterment, it's more of a moral question than an absolute black and white. It's more grey, which is a lot... It's a lot harder to gauge which side is right and which side is wrong. Wait until you see this. Hmm. Into the woods without the name. <laughs> and we're back in wherever this place is. Word of Groh's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had about Leia. <laughs> of course he didn't. Ironwood? That's a... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. The prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this in it? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? And Odin dies. Huh. charged against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we could win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. He's trying but to avoid his fate. The Chris. It's wrong. We can't stop Ragnarok. But we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. Yeah. There must be another way. Where have you moved an audio chest? <sighs> Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. My <laughs> Where have you gone? Tear.
Seriously, Tear, wait up. Seriously, Tear. Quickly now, before more arrive. Can we not explore? I need to get more stuff. I need to get Stonewood, wherever Stonewood is. Damn straight. We need to keep moving. He's really worked up. Come on. Wait, I've got a resurrection. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Does it not refill? Oh. And the camera's gone. There we go. Right. Um. We didn't beat the boss. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, come on. Shield attachment. Ooh. I. It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? out and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. Oh no! No! Atreus! Oh, okay, that's not good. Okay. Swim! Swim, Atreus! Hold on! Over here! Your face! Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Okay. Maybe you're not too bad to you. Maybe it's best just to leave him on Alfheim so that you can try and resolve differences. Okay. Ow. 
Dockyard assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting you. Can they just leave us alone? Yeah, you and me too. That was really unnecessary, but I had to use it. No, that's a bit more like it. So, we are now running through our time. Everything's just clicking. You want war, Atreus? See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Okay, then. Yeah, lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top once we find a way past this. Remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. Oh. Well, this is nice. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Wait, hang on. I can get it. I can upgrade the other violin axe. Hang on. I'm here for you. Ooh, yes. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Damn straight! Mm. XP. Okay, let's go. What are these animals? Go on. Native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Oh. <gasps> oh, hell. Someone trained oh, to sled. Lucky for us. <laughs> Domesticated Gulag. Most unusual. This cave one out. extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah. Sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining. There's a bar from the temple. <sighs> Great. The below. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, it's gonna be a pain. Patience. About you or a threat? Depends on the reader. Hmm. There's no need to What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just. I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? 
I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Ooh, dwarven steel. That's what I need. Honed metal and stone wood as well. Right. Okay, so we need to go out from the other side. We will leave. Well, no, I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there, I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr, they're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes, getting involved where we shouldn't. And by that way, Atreus, you are evolving. My legs are cramping up. Dwarven steel, that's what I need. All right, here we go. Tells me I should. Look there, that bomb should help us out. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphon, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. 
Okay. There we go. What the? What was that? There was drum beats. I don't like drum beats. Got second hand PTSD from Jumanji. Ah, knew it. 